Hello, everybody. This is Teacher Salah Dean. I'm part of Alwatin International Group, and this is English Grammar in Use, English Grammar in Use lecture. This is our first lecture, and we're going to start types or parts of speech. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. I already sent some photos and I, I sent some photos for you, right? I'm going to share that. Hold on with me just a second, guys. All right, guys, let's get started. Everybody, can you see the pictures I just shared? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right, guys, parts of speech. So parts of speech is talks about what types or what kind of words are we dealing with. All right. In English, we have eight main types of words. OK, first of all, what is a word? What's a word? A word is something that's two letters or more this is says word so is is a word right are okay what type of word what type of speech so anything that's more than one letter one le more than one letter is a word one letter is one letter right one letter is one letter anything more than one letter it's considered a word and it has parts of speech. It has a part of speech. What part of speech is it? Okay. What part of speech is it? So anything more than one letter, we consider it as a word, right? And we have eight main types of words in English. Type number one is nouns. Now, when now, when it comes to nouns, guys, a lot of people think it's, it's just person names or, you know, it's just like Michael, Jack is a noun, he or, uh, you know, people name are just nouns. Well, on the controversy, nouns are much, much more than that. They could be places, it could be things, it could be ideas, it could be even feelings, all right? Feelings can be a noun, right? All right. Feelings can be a noun also. Interesting. Now, let's see what the rule says. A noun names a person like yourselves, you know, Arub, 
عزيزة روان and last one is I'm trying to remember the name as well and Naba right these are person names right person names places can you give me example for places name Names of places. Yes. Like a restaurant. What is it again? Like a restaurant. Restaurant is a noun. Another place name. Museum. Museum is a name. Another place name. A school. School. House. Street. Building. All right. All the places you can think about is a noun. Comes under the definition of a noun, all right? Or idea, all right? Thought. Idea, all right. So nouns are very easy. We're going to learn how to tell the difference now when we read a script together. We're going to read a script together. And I'm going to try and find out if you guys really know the difference between parts of speech. Next, pronouns. Pronouns. We know we have personal pronouns, right? Pronouns replaces the name of a person, place, things. So the one we mentioned before, all can be replaced with a noun. For example... Rawan, we can say she. And Salah, Salah, we can say he. And places or non-living thing, we can say it. Group of things or people, all right? A group of people, we say we. And a group and group that I'm not included in, they. You know the difference between we and they, right? We is a group I'm part of, right? And they are a group I'm not part of. All right. Him, her, this is a pronoun. That, these, those are all pronouns. Okay, guys? Very easy, right? All right. Next, we have adjectives. Adjectives. It describes a noun or a noun. And look, they all depend on each other. A noun is a noun. Pronoun describes the noun. Or not describes, replaces the noun. An adjective, it describes the noun or pronoun. And this is very important <clears throat> to tell the difference between adjectives and adverbs. Because adjectives describes the noun or pronoun. Adverbs describes the verb, right? Okay. Let's stick with adjectives. An adjective describes a noun or pronoun. Examples, blue. So colors are all adjectives, right? Did you know that before, that colors are adjectives? Yes. So the sky is blue. Blue is a description of the sky, right? The night is dark. So... Dark describes the night. Tall, thin, thin, long, short, red, beautiful, sour, sweet. Okay? Adjectives. Adjectives describes the pronoun. All right. Then we have verbs. Verbs are very... You guys probably are very familiar with verbs. Verbs are things that describes movement or action or an experience. A verb is a word or group of words that describes an action or experience. Can you give me a, an example on group of words, a verb that contains a group of words? Talk. A group of words, what, what was that? Uh, talk. Talk, like talking? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is one word. But what I'm saying is a group of words is like go on or it contains two syllabus, okay? We're going to see oh. examples of these verbs as well, okay? Hold off. Took off. 
Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Like right. Calm down. Calm down. Exactly. So, so if if you say if you say took off, if you deal with took by itself as a verb, what does it mean took? To to gain to, to gain possession of something, right? Took. But took off means to, to, to take off, took off, to remove something, right? This is what it means, a group of words that describes an action. Okay, so verb is a word or a group of words that describes an action. This is action, it describes an action. Like realize, what, what's the meaning of realize? يستوعب أو يلاحظ. Realize. يستوعب أو يعني Realize. Okay. Realize. So when I got to the restaurant, I realized I forgot my wallet. يعني استوعبت أو اكتشفت إني ناسي المحفظة. All right. Walk. This is an easy verb. Walk. See. Look, sing, sit, listen, and etc. Do you have any question till now? No. All right, these are very easy. Adverb. All right, adverbs tells how often or how or when or where it can describe a verb. All right, so. Adverb, either it's, it describes how often, so it's a frequency, all right? Adverb sometimes relates to frequency. So sometimes, what part of the speech is sometimes? Frequency also. What is it? What what part of speech is the word sometimes? Adverb. 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 Because it describes how often, right? What about often? Yeah. Yeah. Adverb. Adverb. What about rarely? Adverb. Oh. Adverb. What about seldom? Adverb. Adverb Never. as well. What's the meaning of seldom, miss? Never. Seldom, nadiran, yani barzo. Kilme thani la nadiran, okay? So, all the, all the frequencies or the, the words that describes frequencies, how often this thing happened is adverbs, okay? Or how it happened, okay? How it happened is also an adverb when or where is also an adverb all right uh, it can describe a verb can you tell me uh, an example about uh, how an adverb describes a verb a fast car a fast car is adjective uh, the car is moving fast right the car is moving fast. All right. So this is also, um, he for an example, he is walking slowly. Did you see how it described the verb? Slowly. Slowly described walking. So since it described the verb, it's not an adjective. It's not an adjective, it's a verb, it's an adverb, okay? Because it described how is he walking. How is he walking? Slowly. The car travels, or, or sorry, uh, the, the, the plane travels loudly, all right? It, it makes a loud sound, all right? Also, always. Always is how, how often things happen. Never. Late. Soon. Okay. So remember this example about when it happens. 
late and soon is about when. Okay, these are adverbs. Preposition. Preposition is used before a noun, pronoun, or gernod to show place, time, description. All right, uh, or direction in a sentence. Right, preposition. So basically, from the second part of the word is a position. It describes the position. All right. Preposition is used before a noun, pronoun, or gernod to show place, time, direction in a sentence. Example, in, on, about, to, for, from, and etc. Okay. Do you have any question till now? No, teacher. All right. Conjunction. Conjunction is words that join words together to make a sentence. All right. It joins words together like and, because, yet, therefore, moreover. All right. Or, so, until, but. Okay. These are called in English conjunction. These are very important to the, tell the difference between them and the preposition because in writing and in grammar, you need to know when to use them and why. All right. And last but not least, interjection. Interjection is, it's not very formal English, but it's used. It's uh, used to express uh, about strong feelings or extreme feelings or uh, being surprised, exclamation, etc. Like, bravo, well, uh-huh, hooray, yeah, oops, pew, all right? These are grammarly correct. You can use them in English, all right? To express, as I said, extreme feelings, extreme feelings or extreme emotion, strong feeling or strong emotion. Okay, guys, these are the four, five, eight parts of speech. We're going to keep this to the side, and now we're going to practice on them. Now we're going to read a script together. Since we are in October, and October happens to be Black History Month. Do you know? Did you know that, guys? Yes. October yes. happens to be Black History Month, guys. So... And and I get I and I gave a class today about that. So we're gonna use that script just to try and uh read. And I I just wanna see if you guys can tell. All right. Uh, I'm going to ask you just a couple questions. As I said, first lecture, I want to get a sense of your language, sense of your English level, okay? So bear with me. Miss, uh, Miss Naba. Yes, teacher. What's the meaning of migration? In Arabic, please. Migration. Ms. Arub, what's the meaning of migration? Al-Hijra. 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 Ms. Aziza, what's the meaning of diversity? Tanawa. Good job. Ms. Uh, Rawan, what's the meaning of belonging? Belonging, al -intima. All right. Ms. Arub, what's the meaning of enslaved? Uh, enslaved, okay. Mustabad. Mm -hmm. Did someone leave the class? Miss Naba, right? Miss Naba left. It's okay. Uh, who did I ask last? Me. Okay. Miss Arup, what's the meaning of enslaved? Mustabad. Mustabad. All right. 
Ms. Aziza, what's the meaning of self-esteem? It's okay if you don't know it. I want you to make mistakes. Al-Atizaz bin Nafs. al Al-Atidad bin Nafs. Right. Uh, Ms. Rawan, what's the mean, meaning of cohesion? What was that? Al-Tamasuk. Tamasuk. Al-Tamasuk. Al-Tamasuk. Al-Insijam, Al-Irtibat. Cohesion. Okay? Tamam? أكثر من معنى كلهم بصب نفس الشيء التماسك منهم cohesion انت تنا... تس... الانسجام الارتباط اوكي okay, good job all right now let's see your, your readings guy all right uh, miss rawan please start reading introduction to the poem okay uh, rawan the history of our world is a story of my migration diversity and peer and belonging. But these topics are not often taught in schools. Black History Month is about teaching ourselves fully and fairly about our history and not just looking at it from one point of view. Black History Month challenges racism and promotes understanding by making promote. sure that black people's achievements promote. Promotes. Okay. It promotes understanding by making sure that, that black people's achievements and stories are not ignored. Good job. Are not ignored. Okay, good job. Uh, I want to ask you, history, what, what part of speech is history? The history. Yes, Ms. Rawan, what part of speech is the history? Tariq. The history, I... Yes, say whatever you think, Miss. Sorry, what I part? had a connection problem. It's okay. All right, uh, let's give the question to someone else. Ms. Uroub, the history. Uh, it's a noun. It's a noun. What about off? Off, uh, it's an adjective. Oh, a verb. I must if it was a word before. It's okay. So here's the list here. Which one do you think? Is it preposition or conjunction? We took it. Oh, off. I'm so sorry. I thought it's off. Like turn it off. Yeah. Um, no. Off is. Uh, it should be a prop. Um, a proposition. Preposition. I agree with you. So it's used before a noun, or pronoun, or you're not. Is it? Yes, it's used before a pronoun. So it's a preposition. Okay, uh, Miss uh, Aziza. Yes, teacher. Our, what part of speech is our? It's uh... mm -hmm. our number two. Uh, our, 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 our pronoun, right? Yeah. Pronoun. Good job. Yeah. All right. All right. Min qara akhir ishi. Me. Miss Rawan. All right. Now, Miss Aru, can you read the second paragraph, please? Yes. <clears throat> the origins of Black History Month. The idea of Black History Month started in the USA with the work of Carter G. Woodson. He was a brilliant historian, and in 1912, he became the second African-American to get a doctorate from Harvard University. He was the son of people who had been enslaved, and he saw how the role of his people in American history 
was being ignored. He started Negro History Week because he believed that teaching history, teaching Black history was essential to give descendants of African people a sense of pride and identity and to protect them within wider society. All right, good job. Beautiful reading, Miss Aru. Sorry about that. All right, uh, Ms. Arub, what's the meaning of descendants? Descendants. If I told you I descend from a big family that comes from Saudi Arabia. Oh, I'm sorry. I was answering. The mic was off. Uh, descending is in Hadirun. Descendants? All right. All right, what part of a speech is it right here? Descendants, I would say it's a noun. Noun, yes, a group of people, nouns. Descendants, and munhadirin, okay? And munhadirin of African people, right? And munhadirin and African people. All right. Uh, Miss Aziza, can you read Black History Month in the UK? Uh, yes. Black, uh, Black History Month in the UK was first celebrated in 1987. It was organized by co community activ activist, activist, activist and London Council worker Akaiba Adi Sibu. After a college, after a colleague told him that her son had asked her, Mom, why can't I be white? Adi Sibu was sad to learn of the young boy's lay and his low sense of identity. So an event was organized to promote, promote. To promote self pride in people. Promote, promote self pride in people of African and Afro -car -car Caribbean. Caribbean. Dis Caribbean. Dis Dis Caribbean. Oh, Caribbean. Descent through positive. This descent. Descent through positive teaching of their histories and culture. Good job. Beautiful reading, miss. All right. Um, miss, uh, miss Aziza, what's the meaning of colleague? Zamil. Zamil, all right. And what's the meaning of activist? Uh, none. Oh, noun. Uh, Sorry, what's the no. meaning of it? Not what part of speech. What's the meaning of it? What's the meaning uh, of activist? Uh, not activist. Uh, yes. What's the meaning of council? Uh, Majlis, good job. All right. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. All right. Um, Ms. Rawan. I'm here. I'm sorry, Ms. Rawan. Ms. Aziza, can you stay with me? Open your mic, please. All right. Ms. Uh, Aziza, are you with me? Yeah, I'm here. All right, I want to point out a couple of things. When you want to read a date, you read it two numbers at a time, all right? Okay. You deal with it as two numbers, so 1987, okay? 19, 1987. All right, you deal with it as two separate numbers. 1987, always as two separate numbers, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, Ms. Rawan? I'm here. Black history, current protests, and historical statues. Okay. 
Following the killing of George Floyd in the USA in May 2020, there has been huge international support for the Black Lives Matter protest for racial just racial just racial racial justice. People want to talk about racism in our society, in our edu educational, political, and justice systems, and how we how we Pardon. Okay, how we can stop it? Part of this change in world thinking about how we educate ourselves and other about history. In June 2020, anti-racism protesters in the UK, UK took down the stu statue of Edward Colston, a man who bought and sold enslaved people and pushed it into the water in Bristol Harbour. Some people say acts such as such as this are destroying our history. Others argue that the protesters have actually helped to teach history. The ugly story of a man was transported seven eighteen four thousand enslaved in individuals from Africa to the Americas. 19,000 of them dying on his ship, the debate, the debate about what to, to do with public statues like this continues. Good job. Okay, nice reading, Miss. Miss, what's the meaning of debate? Debate. Debate. It's happening right now in America between Donald Trump and uh, what's her name? The woman that's running for president. Is she? مناظرة مناظرة بالضبط debate مناظرة اللي هي مبارزة بالكلام debate all right uh, what I was gonna say what's the meaning of took down or take down إنه رمول الهيكل تاعه أو إنه شالوا عن ال أطاحوا به take down الإطاحة took down أطاحة okay all right. As I said, I want to get a sense how good is your English, guys. Uh, you you guys are very good in English. This is this this script is a C one level almost. So, yeah, and it's from British Council website. So I I really uh, salute you on that. <clears throat> Americas, the Americas. What's the Americas? What do they mean by that? Like the American peoples? No, but close. Uh, Americas. El Amerikiyat. What do they mean by Amerikiyat? America is one. Americas, أكثر من أمريكا. شو في أكثر من أمريكا بنعرف؟ أكثر من بلد هن جامعينهم كلهم عن إنهم أمريكا. شو في منه أكثر من أمريكا؟ أمريكا الشمالية وأمريكا الجنوبية. Okay, guys. الأمريكاز مقصود فيها الأمريكيتين الشمالية وال North America and South America okay guys okay الأمريكيتين okay. أمريكاز هيك مقصود فيها القارتين شغلة ثانية مس 2020 we say 2020 20 the second T you don't have to pronounce it 20 20 all right okay all right, and this is 84, not 18, 84. Try to pronounce a silent T, 80, 80, 84. 80. 80. 84,000. Yeah, all right, 19,000. All right, that's good. Ms. Arub, Black History All Year Round. Black History All Year Round. The Black Curriculum is a group started by young by young people who want Black British history to be taught in UK schools. They say that learning about empire, movement, and migration helps young people build a sense of identity and improve social co cohesion. Black history is a central part of British history, and learning about it is necessary for understanding diversity and fighting racism. The Black curriculum and group like it are asking the UK government to include black histories in lessons all year round, not just in October. 
This will make sure students get lessons that are relevant to them and that give them a positive sense of belonging. Uh, I can't hear you, teacher. Sorry. Uh, beautiful reading, Miss Oroob. Beautiful reading. Good job. Aroub, your name is Aroub, right? Yes, Aroub, right. actually. Aroub. Yes. Okay. This is this is a new thing I learned now. It's Aroub, not Aroub. All right. Good. Miss Aroub, what's the meaning of curriculum? Curriculum. Uh... Let me put it in a sentence. What curriculum do you teach your students at your course? Like English curriculum? Yes. Oh, manhaj. Manhaj. Good job. All right. And uh, what's the meaning of relevant? Relevant? Murtabit. Or lahu alaqa. Dhu sila, dhu alaqa. Bravo. Good job. All right. <clears throat> Guys, now we all read the script, right? Everybody read it and we all listened to it. I want to see your understanding. How quickly do you understand English? Let's try and solve some of these questions. All right. Miss, uh, can you, oh, I want to do this for, all right. Miss Aziza, can you do number one? Okay. Uh, the, mo the, the movement, uh... Mixing of different people in the world is a new thing. True. True. It's true. It's a is a new thing, right? Let's see where it does it set it. I want to see how quickly you yeah. guys can call it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, All right. Can you tell me wh where did you get that understanding from? Uh, from the 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 origins of Black History Month. Was well, started in the USA with a worker. He was a brilliant historian and become the second of him to get a Harvard. He was the son, and he saw how role of his people. And was ignored. He started Negro History Week because he believed such as teaching history. Yeah. So, where where did you know it always mm. you think? Will not uh, black black history month in the USA? I guess where. Black History Month in the USA, as I remember. All right, so do you think it's a new thing or since 1912? So it's not a new thing, right? The sentence say the movement and mixing of different people in the world is a new thing. So it's not a new thing. It's since 1912. Okay. All right. Uh, and the Mushkiri Binet Chiklo, Miss Aziza, but it's okay. Miss uh, Rawan. I'm here. Number two, true or okay. false? Read it and tell me. Okay. The original idea of, for Black History Month came from an African American historian. Actually, it's true. It's true. Good job. It says it right here. Yeah. In the USA, started in the USA. بس بعد ما حكى لنا African American. بعديها شو قال لي? He became the second African American to get a doctorate from Harvard University. طبعا هو أول من بلشها بس ثاني واحد أخذ دكتوراة. Second African American. So he's African American. That is true. All right, Miss Arub, number three. 
Carter G. Woodson said learning about Black history was important to make sure that no one was ever enslaved again. Mm, I would say wrong. False. Good job. It didn't say that. He didn't talk about not being enslaved again. Where is Carter? Yeah, he talked about uh, to give descendants of African people a sense of pride. It was the second. Yeah, and he said he wanted how the role of his people was ignored, and uh, he said uh, how black teaching black history was essential to give the descendant of black African people sense of pride. So he was about teaching about education, not about ending slavery. It, it didn't talk about that. You guys are very quick, comprehensive. You understand quickly. That is a good sign. All right, uh, Miss, whoever started first have to start now. Miss, uh, Miss Rawan, number four. Okay. It was a child comment that Mad Adai Sebo want to start a black history month in the UK. I think it was true. Yeah, true. true. Do you remember what was the the little kid comment? He he asked his mother why I can't be white. Bravo. Why can't I be white? And his mother told her colleague at work this story. Mom, why can't I be white? And his mother told her colleague, which was Akiaba Adai Sabo. And he, he, wore, he was a worker at London Council. And he started uh, the, the Black History Week, I think, right? What did he do? Black History Month. He started Black History Month in the UK because of this comment. Right. Good job, Miss. All right, Miss Aziza, number five. Yes, teacher. Number five. True or false? The need to challenge racism in the pairs in the prisons has. Encourage, encourage people to think more about that. You uh, think it's true? true? I guess. Yes, I agree too. Because you remember how how much they mentioned history here, and how much they emphasized. What's the meaning of emphasize? Emphasize you are kid, okay? They emphasized about teaching history and how important is teaching history in the role of challenging slavery nowadays, you know, you know, right? So it's true. Challenge racism in the present has encouraged people to think more about the past. All right, number, number six, Ms. Arul. Everyone agrees that statues of people who enslave and sell other humans have no place in our cities. Sadly, fails. False, right? Have no place. Oh, sadly. Uh oh. Are you with keeping statues of people who enslaved others? Wait, hold on one second. All right, again. Read it. <laughs> <laughs> this is very dangerous. Oh, no, hold on. I'm actually against that. I don't want the statues to stay in the city. <laughs> I, I believe you. I think you don't. Yeah. <laughs> in my mind, it fails to keep the statues of the people. All right. Yeah. That, that's what you think. That's your point of view. All right. Oh. But according to the script we read, does oh. everyone agree that statues of people who enslave and sell other humans have no place in our cities? Does Fair. everybody agree or no? Okay, I'm going to give you the paragraph and I want you to see. All right. Start from here, some. Uh, yes, yeah, some people argue that the, the protesters have actually helped to teach history. All right, so. you can. So, is it false? Does everyone 
Is everyone on the same page on this topic? Should we, no. does everyone, according to the script, does everyone say we should destroy the statues or there is another saying? No, there is another saying. Some exactly. people are saying, yes, they are Unfortunately, destroyed. there is another saying. Yeah. There is another saying because uh, some people say acts such as these are destroying our history. يعني تخيل الشخص هذا أخش أخشلن أخشلن عادي أن كلمة بالأردن يعني مش كثير صعبة الشخص هذا اللي هو إدوارد هو إنسلابد eighty four thousand استعبد أربعة وثمانين ش أربعة وثمانين ألف شخص أوكي لما رموا ال الستاتيو تبعه بالهاربر some people say في رأينا some people say acts such as these are destroying our history يعني اعتبروا تمثال إدوارد اللي جاب أربعة وثمانين عبد بعتبروه destroying history اعتبروا تدمير التمثال destroying history فللأسف في أكثر من رأي معناته false not everyone agrees okay good job Miss Arub <clears throat> Miss Aziza, number seven. Yes, uh, people who want Black rich history to be to be taught in schools say that doing so so will bring many benefits. True or false? True. Yeah. True, right? They say yeah. they wanted to bring the curriculum, you know, uh, to give them positive sense of belonging and cohesion. Yeah. They said something about cohesion. Okay, guys? Yeah. Well, it's true. Many benefits. That's what they say. Okay. Uh, number eight, Ms. Rawan. Okay. Some people think one month a year is not enough to learn about Black history. It's true. True. They wanted to say about around the year. Good job. Bravo, Mr. Wan. You have a really strong memory. This is in this paragraph. Black history all year round. What's the meaning of all year round? Ala madar Ala madar Bravo. All right, guys. Task two. Write the correct form of the word in bold type to complete the sentence. All right? So this word in bold... We need to adjust it so it can suit the blank here, all right? So we need to adjust, adjust, or modify. Okay, Miss Arub, number one. Black History Month, yes, Black History Month makes sure that pe Black people's space and stories are not ignored achievements achievements good job all right uh, miss aziza number two carter g watson was a brilliant brilliant true ism al min history uh huh. Historian. 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 Good job. Historian. Historian. Yes. Mu'arrikh. Or katib al-tarikh. Miss Arub. Or Miss Miss Sorry. The second Miss Rawan. Okay. Watson believed that teaching black history was essential to give descendants of American people. Descendants. Descendants. Mm -hmm. Okay, the sentence of American people, a sense of pride and identity. Identity. How and we... identity. Yeah. Yes. And identity. Uh, identity. Uh, identity. Uh, identify. Identify. من identify شو يعني identify؟ هوية أو 
ايدنتيتي هوية الاسم الفعل ايدنتيفاي اي ثينك شو تتوقع الفعل من هوية يكون تعريف او تعريف يتعرف او يميز اوكي جود جاب مس سعروب نمبر 4 Uh, there has been a huge international support for Black Lives Matter protests for uh, racial justice. Racial justice. Racial justice. What's the name of Race. Race. Race, Eric. What part of speech is race? Um, noun. Noun. Racial. Uh, racial. Racial. العدالة العرقية بالضبط صارت racial justice ما فينا نقول racial okay can you guys please look into this one racial justice I want to know what part of speech is racial okay is it adverb look into it I want you to look into it okay All right, number five, Miss Aziza. People want to talk sorry, about. Sorry, Miss Aziza. But again, Miss Arub, race. Show any race. What's the meaning of race? Miss Arub? Yes, teacher. What's the meaning of race? Arq. Okay. Sibak. Race. نفس الشيء نفس الكتابة لكن معنيين اوكي؟ ريس عرق وريشل عرقي صح؟ يس جست اي ونت ميك شور يو نو ذات اول رايت نمبر 5 مس عزيزة بيبول ونت تو توك اباوت ان اها In people want to talk about the كلمة نعدل عليها race race okay هاي نعدل عليها race العرق بيطلع منها أكثر من كلمة Miss عروب طلعت منها racial racial اللي هي بتنكتب racial وتقرأ racial okay هلا شو بدك كمان كلمة اللي هي لازم in our society and how we can stop it لازم نوقفها Racism. Racism. Bravo. Racism. So race, racial, racism. Good job. All right. So race is a noun. Racism. Uh, racism. A adjective. No. Think about it. Racism. Al-unsuri. Al-unsuri. Masdar, sah? It's also a noun. It's a noun for idea, racism. It's it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a noun, right? You're right. Okay. So, so that's about, why it's a huh? noun. Yeah. So that's why it's a noun. That's why it's a noun. It's a, it's a noun for a thought or idea. A yeah. thought or idea. Remember, we talked about thoughts and idea and feelings. It could be yes, a yes. noun. Yes. Okay. Racism. Okay. Racism. Miss Aziza, can you tell me what's the adjective from race? Someone is unsorry. He's racist. Racist. Good job. Bravo. All right. Ms. Rawan, number six. Okay. In June 2020, anti racism protesters uh, in. One minute. In June. It's right. Okay. Okay. In June 2020, anti racism protesters in Bristol pushed the statue of Edward Clouston into the water. It's protesters. Okay. Good job, protesters. All right. Um, protest. Protest is the verb, uh, right? Yes. Okay. When we want to say, Miss uh, Miss Rawan, if I want to say, هو يحتاج كيف بتصير? He is a protest. Okay, Miss Aziza. If I'm talking, هو يحتاج شو بتصير? He protests. Come, Protest. 
protested. He 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 he, he, he malo. He protests. He protests. He protests. A protest. Okay. إضافة, إضافة الاس, إضافة الاس. إضافة الاس. إضافة الاس. Okay. But everybody, good job. Really. Uh, Miss Arub, number seven. Black history is a central part of British history. Central part of British history. Center, central. All right, good job. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh... Okay, guys. That's it for today. I'm going to stop recording for now.